Hey, we're the little guitar boys from Deer, Deer Tick, Tick, and you're watching 1019 Kink Radio in the live Live studio. studio. All right, John, Ian, my name is Sean. I'll be the asker of the questions, because I have many, some from me, some from people upstairs who couldn't come down right now because they're working. Who, God? Huh? No, people upstairs. <laughs> one, six floors up. No, God's not involved in this particular project. <laughs> God's not involved in a lot of aspects of my life. Yeah. <laughs> So I know you guys have, have actually spent a fair amount of time in Portland before. Didn't you record one of the albums here, like Negativity or something like that? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, uh, we spent like a good... We actually came here twice. Once was kind of a failed attempt. <laughs> <laughs> failed uh, attempt? That, yeah, that was the real Negativity. <laughs> <laughs> and then we came back and we made... I guess we were here for like a month. But yeah. For a month. So you probably got to get some haunts and some things that you liked. What did you like about the town? We we basically work so often that um, we can only really go out pretty late at night. <laughs> um, we went we went to Liberty Glass a bunch because mm-hmm. um, it's right off Mississippi where we're recording, right? Or in that general area. Um, and I think we went to a couple shows in Mississippi Studios and stuff like that too. There's some like German beer hall that we went to a lot. Yeah, I right behind the studio. I can't remember the name. But they had beer. Yeah, yeah. yeah. we get in like pictures to go. <laughs> I think people forget that when you're in town, you're actually working really hard trying to get something done, and studio time is costly, right? Yeah, yeah. But yeah, we definitely we patronize the heck out of this town. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> great. As Portland learners, we like to hear that. So, um, so you spent a month here, and that was for the album came out in 2013, and here is 2017. There's been four years that have passed. And I saw an interview with you, John, that where you basically said that the band was all excited to get back in the studio. And I get that. Things happen. What happened? What happened? Just life in general? Uh, yeah, I suppose. I mean, I, uh, I had a kid, and I didn't really want to be in a band anymore. So <laughs> I, I just, we didn't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys discuss it, or we just went, yeah, he's got a kid. We got it. No, we, we had these big... Um, we had this big thing in New York where we did our 10-year anniversary shows a couple of years ago. And that was right before uh, my daughter was born. And once the shows were over, it was like New Year's Eve was the last night. And uh, we just had nothing scheduled after that. So we just kind of, well, see you later. And uh, so, so that's the wave goodbye. How did the wave hello happen between you guys? Well, we, we kind of, we, ne- we didn't like, break up and we didn't like get into a fight or anything uh we just kind of walked away for a while and then we had to do newport folk fest because i don't know we're we're just like it's what we do (laughs) every every year we're stuck doing that no matter what even if we think we're taking time off we're not that weekend um so we did a couple newports and uh, I don't know. We started sending demos around to each other, and uh, it sounded like a good idea to go into the studio and do some stuff. And then we did that acoustic tour, and then we really got back into it, and uh, and now we're here <laughs> doing doing some uh, press stuff because because uh, we got these two new albums, and we're pretty excited about them, and. We tried really hard to make three, uh, but we failed. We have like two. And, uh, we only songs. have two. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's talk about the new albums for a second. Got volume one and volume two, mostly all new works, I'm guessing. Mm-hmm. The, yeah. There's one song that I sing on uh, volume one, the acoustic record, that uh, we tried recording for our album Divine Providence and then just didn't pan out. Actually, keep talking about that song. I got to go in my case here and dig up my harmonica. Okay, cool. Um, the song is called Hope is Big, and uh, we tried it once, like full band electric, and it just kind of sounded a little limp, so we just left it off. And then, so that's the only old song, I guess, on the on both the albums. But The first song you did to, right now, that's on volume one or volume two? That starts volume one. Starts volume yes. one. Yes. Correct. Yeah, we figured we'd make volume one the quiet record so it could kind of cascade into <laughs> insanity by the end of the second one, which is what it does. Okay, so how many total songs between both albums? Can you remember? 20. 20. T- 10 and 10, yeah. How many did you actually write for the album? All of them, All except of them. for Hope is Big, right? I mean, write huh? for the album is kind of a funny way to talk about it. Because is it because you just write stuff and then yeah. things no, happen so we did, or don't happen? We did two albums of all standards. 
<laughs> is Fly Me to the Moon on there? That's a really good one. Yeah. yeah. Let's get back to your stuff. Ladies and gentlemen, Deer Tick. <laughs> <laughs>